There you are. I was just thinking about you. Well, today I <laughs> I made another rower. So I want to show you this and, and talk a little bit about some of the problems I had with it. I hope everybody's safe and well. Hang on to your hats. I'll tell you what, I had a I had quite a few problems getting this thing to turn smoothly. It's doing pretty good now. I know it's got one creek right about here. But other than that, it's there's no dead spots on it. Well, maybe there <laughs> a little bit. But anyway, it's spinning pretty freely, but I tell you what, it was not easy getting to this point. If you ever uh, get around to trying to make a rower, some of the places that rub are, check this out right here. You can see this knee is wanting to rub right up against there. Other places that rub are right here, the arms. You can see that very well. The arms want to rub up against the crankshaft there. Same thing on this other side. You can see I paired away quite a bit so it'll miss. And the other place you got to look for, another place, is the oars. You got to check the gap here, which is not much of a gap. And of course the other side, and then you got to check it on the inside too. Oops. You got to check this gap. And this one on this side is it's pretty close. <laughs> I might have to bend that up a little bit. But, so that's one place. And that's some places where it can be hitting. You can see here, it looks like it's hitting. I might have to shave a little more off there. I think it's barely hitting right there. I guess I got a little more to do. Yeah, right there. Another thing to check is make sure your oars are lined up in a straight line. These arms have to be pulling at the same time. If you get any kind of racking, then it's then the propeller's not gonna uh, spin freely. So I think that's looking pretty good. Check out the expression on his face. It's kind of nice. I like his hat too. His hat came out nice. I think this is the fourth rower I've made. If, I'm, if I remember, remember correctly. It's either the fourth or the fifth. It doesn't pull back very far. One thing about him. Uh, one other thing I did is I had the feet right up close to the gearbox and uh, I was getting a lot of racking which is unevenness. So I, I moved the feet back a little bit. If you're having problems with it uh, binding up or something you might move the position of the figure that's another one and sometimes don't get these too tight I got mine pretty tight this time I don't have too much slop but if it's binding up sometimes you can loosen these up right here and that'll help it give it a little slop if things are it's not spinning freely. Let's see that gearbox. That sure is a fun whirly gig. Fortunately we don't have any wind today so I can't 
show you it working out in the wind but uh I took some video of the when I didn't have everything uh, glued down yet I hadn't finalized everything I got everything finalized now oh another thing is check out this foot here <laughs> it looks like I forgot to put it all the way on the all the way on the floor or something but I did it that way on purpose because it seemed to be that seemed to want to be like that so don't think he, <laughs> everything has to look perfect it works better with that foot sticking up off the ground if I put it back I had it on the ground and but it kind of bind it up it wanted to bind so I left it sticking up a little bit so a whole lot of problem solving going on with this thing I was getting a little frustrated yesterday but not too bad I just kept working on it and I finally got it you just got it deal with it logically there's a solution for every problem all right well this is an awesome whirly gig I'll tell you what the one I built for myself uh, <laughs> it's just been fantastic I, I haven't hardly had to do anything to it except keep it painted oh, it's been very reliable it's a well the gears uh, these worm gears slow everything down so that that helps a lot as far as the mechanism lasting. So. Well, that's all I got for today, friends. I sure appreciate you stopping by. Uh, I got some footage that I took the other day when it was real windy of the peaches with flapping wings and that fisherman that the, where the fish comes out. So, or actually, it's this way. <laughs> oh, I have this other whirly gig in there. Well, that's it for today's edition. I sure appreciate everybody stopping by. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment down below. I uh, hope everybody's safe and well and enjoying the new year. Take care, friends. I'll see you down the trail. Bye now.